said to yourself, I would work out, but the game is on. That's another excuse, right? Well, that excuse will not fly with Cindy. She takes us through a workout within the game in today's Workout Wednesday. Over the top a touchdown. Do 25 jumping jacks. Prater out of the hole of the punter, Colquitt. And able to knock it through. A field goal. Do 25 crunches. Looks left, now right. Now hit and sacked by Dale Moore. Fumble the ball. Fumble, 30 seconds of high knees. May sound crazy at first, but it is one way to get in the game and the workout. I know you're like, oh, I would never do this workout. And probably most guys would not do this workout unless they didn't have their buddies over. Um, but, you know, as women, I know sometimes I get bored being at football games and I'm working on my iPad and maybe I've skipped out on my workout. It's Saturday, you got the kids, you're busy, and we're trying to get the most in our day. So why not get a workout in during the football game? As Cindy says, with chips and dips and casseroles, most people consume about 1,200 calories during a game. So here's your chance to indulge and not feel too badly about it. You're not spending a lot of time, no equipment involved. It's just having some fun, and you know, maybe there's a few other women over there, and you can kind of make it a competition. So, anytime that there's a touchdown or a fumble, you want to just incorporate an exercise. You do it for 15, 20 reps, or you can do it on a time for, say, 30 seconds. And that way, you're burning some calories, you're working off what you're eating, and, and you're having fun. Outstanding form on the plank, don't you I think? I was noticing your form, sir.